Well, there was glitz, glamour and celebrity today at the very first gathering of Bob Carter's Australian party. There was an unexpected boost too, with LNP backer Clive Palmer predicting the party will win more seats than Labor. They call him the cat in the hat, and this is the Catmobile coming soon to a town near you. We are going to be out there. The Batmobile. <laughs> Catmobile. <laughs> Today, Cat's Australian party had its first big party, a real shindig. It sounded a little bit country. The cat in the hat walks his own way now. Then switched tempo to a rock star welcome. <laughs> Catter's party isn't so much a rainbow coalition as a kaleidoscope, a patchwork mix of dreamers and battlers, farmers and greenies, business people and union chiefs. Maybe it's time we sort of started to get together and I think uh, Catter's Australia party's a damn fine start in that. The Red Sea of waving banners, signs of a new political force ready to fight coal seam gas. How many lies have we been told about coal seam gas mining? The revolution has started. <laughs> Because all of this is so new, because the party itself is so new, and because so many of the candidates are untested, they readily concede that they're probably going to make a few wrong turns along the way. They got a vote of confidence, though, from LNP backer businessman Clive Palmer, predicting Catter's party will be the next state opposition. The Labor Party won't win one seat. I don't believe the next, the next state government. That's what I predict. But the soccer team owner scored an own goal on his own Campbell Newman. And he said, I live at Ashgrove. It needs a, a 10 or what, 15 per cent swing to win. Wrong. Newman doesn't live at Ashgrove, and the swing is 7.1 per cent. For Wilmington, 9 News.